how we can create files in Linux using touch command. Okay, so here and here in both sides there is files. Here is files. Okay, and uh, I will move into that particular directory files. Okay, and now what I will do? I will create some files using touch command. Okay, so I will do touch file one dot txt. Okay, so basically what this command will do it will just uh, uh, like delete the day uh, sorry I'm saying delete it will just create a file one dot txt Okay, but that file will be empty for you like there will be you cannot write anything at that time You will need to first open that file then you will need to write in that it okay But there are also some ways where we can perform both things as uh, uh, like uh, simultaneously we can like create files and we can write something uh, in that also but this we will see in the next video okay so first we will uh, talk about this touch command so when you know, I will hit enter and I will do ls and here you will see like file1.txt will be created okay so I hope it is clear to you and now what if I want to create multiple files okay then I can easily do with file 2.txt file 3.txt file 4.txt and I will just hit enter uh, sorry ls and here you can see all these and four files have been created okay so this is the uh, one way to create files okay and now uh, with the touch command like uh, we can use uh, uh, various options with it like uh, hyphen a hyphen m hyphen r also we can use it so I will start with the first one that is hyphen a option basically what this option does like it will change the access time of your file suppose uh, now we have created this file let me do ls hyphen l okay so file 1 has been created at uh, this one 12.42 am okay and uh, this is 43 and all these things so basically this is the modification time okay if you want to look at the access time you will need to hit ls hyphen l u okay uh, access time 42 okay the hyphen l option will show you the modification time hyphen lu option will show you the access time when the file is accessed okay so uh, what i'm going to do i will try to access this file and now 1244 it is okay so i have accessed this file okay i will write something hi okay and i will just uh, close it and again I will do this I will need to find the access time so here you can see the 1244 is now the access time of file1.txt okay and I have not visited file2.txt yet okay so its access time it is still showing 1243 so now what I have to do I will change the access time using the hyphen a option so how we can do it touch hyphen a and then file name so I want to change the access time for file name uh, which one uh, let's do for file one dot txt okay so it will change my access time from 1244 to the my current time so my current time is what 1245 okay and now I will do ls hyphen lu and here you can see file one dot txt okay now what I will do like here we have not uh, like uh, visited this file 2.txt okay even when you don't uh, open that file we don't uh, write anything in that but file still you can change the access time for it okay suppose uh, uh, there is someone in your like work environment like uh, you want to change the access time uh, just uh, for your any kind of purpose okay so what I'm going to do uh, touch hyphen a I will just uh, change the file name from file 1 to 2 okay and now I will do ls hyphen lu and here you can see the access time for file 2 has been like changed now okay it's 1246 okay and now uh, I will just clear it all now again I will check the access time 
So access time is for first one 12.45, 12.46. And for uh, let's check for modification time. That is at the modification of this is going 12.44 okay and 1243 1243 all the why 1244 because uh, we uh, we have write uh, high in this file one.txt that's why it's going 1244 okay now what if you want to change the modification time instead of uh, this access time so what we, i will do now i will just uh, hit uh, uh, like work with the hyphen m option okay hyphen m and i will change for file 3.txt and now let's do just ls hyphen l file 3 you can do like this also and now it's swing 1247 as here it was 1243 now the it is modified to the 1247 and uh, here you can see the access time is 1243 so now let's uh, check also the access time for file 3.txt whether it is changed or not it will not change because we have not done anything with it so it will be as it is like it is 12.43 okay so I hope you got it how it is working the how we can basically change the access time modification time with the touch command okay we are creating files also and we can also manipulate the access time and the modification time using this command okay so now uh, moving uh, forward uh, the there is also one option hyphen r okay so basically this option what it will do it will just uh, uh, like uh, what we can say like copy the access time of first file to the second file okay so now what I will need to do I will show you both the uh, access time I will show you for file1.txt and what I will do touch hyphen r file1 and file Two dot txt okay and again i will do the ls hyphen lu so here you can see the access time for file 2 dot txt has been changed from 1246 to 1245 and uh, now let's check for the modification time for file 1 and file 2 so modification time for file 1 and file 2 is same okay i hope you got it how it is working in the access time and modification time i hope you got uh, the like uh, how hyphen a hyphen m and hyphen r option works together okay so that's all for this video and in the next video we will basically talk about uh, how we can write some kind of like whatever you have to write in the file while creating a file okay so that's it for today and we will meet in the next one so thank you thank you for watching and please do like share and subscribe our channel and if you have any queries then you can ask us in the comment section okay Thank you. Thank you for watching.